and we are rolling up and down the fingers. And into the palm. And the pads of the pinky. And the thumb. Down to the wrists. Up to the knuckles and across. And keep the ball in the palm, interlace the fingers and squeeze. And let go. And squeeze. And let go. And squeeze. Let go. Let's toss it up in the air or bounce it on the floor. How about switching hands, doing three in the left or four in the right, whatever. Just try to fool yourself. Or challenge yourself, maybe is a better word. Three, two, one, leave the ball on the floor, assess the feet, step on the ball in the middle of the foot, press down three times. Up to the knuckles, press once on each. Roll across. Roll across the top of the heel. Bring the ball to the middle of the foot and wiggle the toes. Press the toes into the ball. Raise and separate. Press again. Wiggle again. And scribble. Three, two, one, release. Reassess and repeat on the other foot three times in the middle. Up to the knuckles. Roll across the knuckles. Roll across the top of the heel. Wiggle the toes. Press the toes. Raise and separate. Press again. Wiggle again. And scribble. Three, two, one. Release. Get the ball out of the way. Reassess. And shake the tree. the center. Twist it to waist. Swing the arms. And 
And center, we're going to do the uh, primordial chai, tai chi with the hands down to the lower dantian, and they come out and up, back in and down. Right hand goes over to the right side, turn and look about third eye level, bring it back down. Left hand up to the left side. Bring it back down, form a chi ball. Bring it up the front of the spine and then out, down, in, up to the heart. Carry it over to the right side. Carry it left. Carry right. Come back to center. Right hand is below, left hand is up. Bring the right hand up, left hand down, left hand up, right hand down, pivot on the left foot, turn a quarter, throw the pitch, gather chi with the left hand, gather with the right, gather left, pivot and turn a quarter as you throw the pitch. Right hand is below, left hand up, bring the right hand up, left down, Left up, right down, pivot, a quarter, throw the pitch. Gather with left, gather with right, gather left, both hands out, bend the knees, scoop, come up, left hand is inside the right palm, come up to the crown, down the front of the spine. And take two breaths. And turn and take some steps forward. And then knee to the opposite elbow. Yeah. And then slap the opposite heel in the front. And then slap it behind. And then take a cross step with a twist and a punch. And then walk or march or jog. So we're going to do the McGill Big Three Plus One for the core and back stabilization today. No squats. You want to do those? Go run. Uh, myself, but whatever you do, be safe. And uh, we'll do some bands after class. So if anybody wants to, we can start with the shoulders and uh, arms. And um, when you get going, in five, four, three, two, 
One, two. Ten. Twenty. And three, two breaths. Interlace the fingers, raise the hands up overhead, reach for the sky. Come on down, bend back if you can. Come back to center and bend to one side. Then to the other. Back to center, lower the hands to the chest, push out. Come on down, interlace the fingers behind the back, raise them up. Go a bit higher, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Come down and shrug. And then roll the shoulders forward. And then roll them back. Extend the arms and rotate. Go the other way. One palm down, one palm up, flip flop. And bring one arm across, press in. And then the other. First arm behind the back, press down and in. And then the other. Form a Y and squeeze the shoulder blades together and hold. And release. Squeeze. And release. And squeeze. Release. Uh, grab both elbows, rock side to side. And then bring the elbows behind the head and move them back and forth. Come on down with the arms and rotate the neck. Go the other way. Nod. And go ear to shoulder. And 
And come back to center, bring one arm over to the top of the head, cup the ear, look up, chin up, hug gently. And chin down to the collarbone, still tugging. Look out of the corner of your eye at the floor. And repeat both on the other side, looking up first. And then down. And come back to center, tuck in the chin and peck like a pigeon. And then do a side lunge. Go the other way. Yeah, come on up and grab a stick. It is a gym stick day. All right, we're going to start with some dynamic swimmers overhead in one direction. And go the other way. And then above the head, back and forth, side to side. And then bring the stick behind the back at the waist and twist at the waist. And then bring the stick down to above the knees. Hinge at the waist, bring the hands around front between the knees and pull up. Bring the stick out in front, hold on with two hands at or near the top, step back, hinge at the waist, stretch the shoulders. Come on back up, bring the stick across the body with one arm, other arm comes underneath the armpit, grab the shoulder, hinge at the waist, tug the shoulder gently. Repeat on the other side. And then bring the stick to the side of one foot. Push out with the top hand, pull in with the bottom as you hinge. And do the same thing on the other side. Put the stick out in front, bring one foot about six inches away, drop the top of the stick to the collarbone, slide down the stick, lift the sole of the foot and wiggle. And then press the sole of that foot against the stick. I'm going to do the same thing with the other leg. Stick is about six inches in front of the toes. Slide down, lift the sole, wiggle. And 
and press the sole of the foot against the stick. And then drawing one leg forward, other leg, you're on your toes in the back, come on down, stretch the hip flexors. Repeat on the other side. Come on up, grab one leg by the shin, ankle, or toes. Stretch the quads. Same thing with the other leg. First leg in front, push the knee back, hinge at the waist. And repeat with the other leg. Okay, bring the stick out in front, hold on with two hands, one hand over a finger or two at the top, step back, maybe shoulder width apart, come up on your toes and hold for 20. And then back on your heels for 20. Come on down, and I will push the stick away and meet you up on the floor on our backs for the McGill Big Three plus one. All right. So we're going to extend one leg. The sole of the foot of the other leg is on the ground. We're going to put our hands behind the lower back for support. And we're coming up with our head, neck, and shoulders um, for a count of 10, about an inch off the ground. Just clear the ground, 10, 9, 8, Six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Switch the position of the feet and come up for another ten. And down, switch and up. And down and switch and up. And down the last round, switch and come up. And down and switch and up. And down. Okay, we're going to be doing bird dogs, most of us at any rate, but if you want to do the uh, dying bug, you could be on your back like so, and left foot, right hand would look like this. You can hold for 10 or less. You can do one limb at a time rather than both at the time, same time if you need to. 
Um, so come around, hands and knees, palms underneath the shoulders. We're going to do left hand, right foot extended and hold for nine, eight, six, five, four, three, two, one, and down. Right hand, left foot. And down. Right foot, left hand. And down. Left foot, right hand. Down, left hand, right foot. Down and right hand, left foot. And down. All right, come on your side. Going to do some side planks. You can do them with your elbow underneath your shoulder in any event, but uh, you can do them from your knees. One foot on top of the other, one foot in front of the other. Come on up, 10. And come down. Take a breath. We're going to do two more on this side and then three on the other. Up. And down. Nice breath, and up. And down, all right, switch sides. Same thing, up. And down. And up. And down. Breath. And up. And down. On our backs. Last one, the plus one is bridge. Soles of both feet are on the floor. Hands are by your side. We're going to come up, squeeze the glutes, hold for 10, and come down six times. Here we go. Up. Down. Up. And down, and up, and down, up, and down, two more, breath, and up. And down, and the last one up. And down. All right. I'm going to sit down for the alternate nostril breathing. You can stand for it if you'd like. Either way, we're going to close off the right nostril, inhale through the left, exhale through the right, inhale through the right, then close off the right again, and exhale through the left for a total of five rounds. Here we go.
And then if we're down, we're getting up. Either way, we're going to rub our hands together once we do. And create some chi in the palms and form a chi ball. And center two breaths. Let's open our hearts. Pause on this inhale. Exhale, send it out. And center, two breaths. Bring down chi. And gather it up. Namaste. Thank you, Tom. Okay, Yamira. Oops, there we go again. <laughs> there he goes again. Uh, <laughs> 2920. Am I here? Oh. Ah, there you are. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Good, all right. Have a good one. Take care.